here is some close-up photography of the restored 1960 vintage PAF. Came without a cover. I only had to use about 1,700 winds of modern wire and rewound that with a machine vintage PAF winding pattern. So, and then I figured out a way to put the tape back on without losing the UV glow and you can't even tell it's been uh, restored. So we're going to do a sound comparison and so you can uh, hear that versus um, my old uh, PG, HD PG um, neck pickup and uh, also a couple uh, shots of um, my new um, vintage relic cover method that's um, turning out to be repeatable and haven't lost any to uh, mistakes or you know problems and anyway so let's take a listen to uh, vintage PAF and against my PG set my PG neck <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so that's it for this episode number 11. And I want to uh, urge you guys to go check out the uh, link in the description for the uh, VCAPs. They, um, the Bridge VCAP, the 0.022 microfarad one is the best, absolute best bridge cap for uh, vintage bridge tones that I've found. And it's kind of hard to do a video on that because, you know, they're a before and after video because there's some things that don't come across in recordings that much. But I've uh, tested it against the usual bridge tone caps that I use, which is the uh, Mojo Vitamin T. And this one just smokes it. If you, and especially, you know, in like a Stratocaster where you, you're battling harshness in the, in the bridge pickup and you're always turning the volume control back a little bit to get rid of that brittle edge. Um, it works really well for that, but it works really fantastic for the uh, for PAF replica bridges. And um, so, so check that out. And then next week, uh, I, know, I have no idea what I'm doing next week. So just uh, keep keep uh, watching and um, please share on the on the Les Paul forums and groups, anybody interested in vintage PAFs or that kind of technology or anything to do with vintage Les Pauls. And uh, so I think that about covers it and I'll see you next week.